Your 50 point assignment for this week in math is going to, for this week in math is going to be to create a flag using net logo. Why we're doing this is this term will be focusing on inequalities in math and those are when you have that less than or greater than sign. So you might see x is less than 6 or 12 is greater than 5 that's using that kind of symbol. And we're going to use this in a computer program to graphically create a national flag. The flag that you've been assigned, to find that, it, you will need to log into PowerSchool. You go into PowerSchool, you go to the week two. Once you find week two, you'll click on the grade for uh, the the block for the 50 point net logo flag assignment and in the comment section you'll find a specific uh, flag you've been assigned and it's a link to the Wikipedia entry for that flag because there is some information you need on those pages to finish this assignment. So in a couple weeks we'll be talking about the study of flags but I'm gonna just uh, leave this right here for you. This is always difficult to pronounce because it has this double L in here. Uh, vexology is the study of flags and uh, we'll end up watching a short video of TED Talk about this later. But for now I want to go ahead and get into the flags. The flags that you'll be assigned for the most part are going to be the ones with a simpler design. Usually three stripes. Most of the ones I've assigned to you have three stripes. Either horizontal like this or vertically like this. Um, some of you will have maybe a little additional detail in there and I'll show you how to add that in there. And a couple of you I've given a little bit more complicated design. Um, and the one I'll kind of be modeling for you is kind of based on this where it has some horizontal stripes and a, and a vertical stripe. And I just, I'm just going to make up one to show you what it looks like. So on my flag I'm going to have three vertical stripes this way and one horizontal this way and then a star. So it's basically going to be this flag except it's going to have three horizontal stripes instead of two horizontal stripes. And there are some there's lots of interesting flags. So before we get started with the actual computer programming I want to talk about the concept of what we're going to be doing. Now most flags are rectangles. Not all of them are but most of them are. And all the ones I've assigned you are rectangles and most of them are divided up into um, three stripes. So <coughs> what in your program what we're going to do is we're going to create this little plane it has x and y values and what you're going to do is whatever your center color is that's what you're going to make your whole flag that color that's how we're going to start off so let's say your the center color the center stripe of your flag is yellow maybe the other side of it one of the sides is red so what we'll end up doing is we'll have this X and Y system so if you're dealing with um, horizontal stripes we want a red stripe here from here down let's say I'm going to make a stripe from here down so this would be the X coordinate going this way Y coordinates going this way so we might say if your value is less than I'm just going to make up a number 15 then we want you to paint everything from 15 to 0 because we're going to say 0 0 here is the corner so everything from y equals 15 down to y is less 15 or less the y value is 15 or less we're going to paint that once a different color and then let's say you had green for this top part of it it may be this value right here in the y coordinate if this is 15 then this might be 30 right here so we'll say if it's greater 30 or greater or greater than 30 for this example for this week we're going to make it green so this right here would be 31 cuz 31 would be greater and then you're going to you're going to have the program fill up all that up there so this is basically the idea of what you how you're going to make your your flag so it's pretty straightforward and again the focus is just kind of paying attention to the X and Y coordinate system and using that greater and less than sign correctly. 
So that's the general concept we're going to do. So I'm going to say my flag is going to look like this, but I'm going to go ahead and add something where I have maybe another... I'm going to fill this in. I'm just going to kind of create a little flag that I want to make. So let's say it was that, and then I had a... white star in the center with there we go so I'm going to make a flag that looks something like that <clears throat> so for you what you'll end up doing is you're going to go to the Wikipedia entry of your flag so let's say you had something like I'm going to use one that nobody's using so if I had this flag, I would look, the first thing I'm going to do is look at my proportions here. So right here, this proportion is a 1 to 2, meaning for every 1 unit this way, we're going 2 units this way. So basically, it's twice as long as it is tall. And you see these flags have different um, versions. This one it can be, there's two different proportions, 3 by 5 or 2 to 3. I should say 2 to 3 this right here 5 to 8 so for every 5 whatever the unit is this way it goes 8 so this could be 5 inches this way 8 inches this way so we're going to end up setting up our world based on this proportion and I am going to use uh, the proportion of 3 to 5 here just for the flag I'm pretending like I'm making here I'll do, use this 3 to 5 so let me explain that in a little bit more detail and some numbering system. So I'm going to pretend like this is my NetLogo world right here, this whole yellow box. And I've set this up to be a 3 by 4 ratio. So for every 3, they're going to go this way, I go 4 this way. And if you look at this, here's what I want you to be paying attention to this is a little box now this is coordinate zero zero so here's where things get confusing for lots of people and most computer programming languages we start numbering at zero so what this actually is you can see the patches go from zero to eleven but if I was going to count them I'd actually start here with patch number one two three so going from zero to eleven is the same as going from one to twelve and similar, similarly, there we go. Similar, similarly, similarly, going from zero to eight is the same as going from one to nine. So both nine and twelve are divisible by three. Nine divided by three is three. Twelve divided by three is four. So this is really a th 3 by 4 flag, but I've scaled it up to be 9 units by 12 units. It's still the same proportions. And this is where in math we talk about like least common multiple, greatest common factor, those kinds of things. So this is where that thinking comes into place. So some of you might need help getting your proportions right, but um, I'm going to go ahead and for my flag that I'm making, I'm going to say that my proportions were, um, in my example here, I'm going to say this is 3 by 5. And 3 by 5 is a pretty common flag size. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to end up doing a couple things different than we did before. The only th thing I need you to do to interact with uh, the world here, the NetLogo world, once you get into your NetLogo, uh, the NetLogo web application, is you're going to come here and you should click on New and that will bring up a new program. So again, when you come here, you sometimes depending on which link you use, it will automatically load a random program. We want it to be, a, we want a blank starting new one, so we'll come up here where it says new, click new, hit OK, and we're going to end up adding a button. So I've unlocked this lock right here, so I clicked on the lock, it's unlocked. I'm going to right click, 
And again, if you're on an iPad with only doesn't have a right click button, then hit your fingers, both fingers at the same time on the mouse pad, and it will bring up this create button. We're going to create button. We're going to call this setup. S E T U P. I'm going to click on OK. And I want this to be as close to the side here as possible. So I'm going to adjust it and then I'm gonna go ahead and lock this back now we know it's in red because we don't have a procedure called set up yet and that's what we're gonna get started on so next after we get this done and don't forget to lock this back so I've locked this back what we're gonna do is go down to our command uh, the, the below the command center is this net logo code click on that so it expands out and we're gonna start writing our code now I want to make mine a little bit bigger so it's easier to see my text on the screen. And I'm going to start off with the word to set up. I'm going to hit enter four or five times. It doesn't matter if it's four or five or six or whatever. And again, the whole idea here is two is the beginning of my procedure. This procedure is called setup. And from here to end, is where I want to write in all my code. If I write something underneath here, it's not going to recognize it. All my code has to be between the word to set up, the words to set up, and end. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear dash all. And please note there is no space on each side of this dash, and the dash is a little minus sign next to the number zero on your keyboard at the top. So clear dash all with no spaces and that just gets rid of everything in the world, resets all the background here to black. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these user comments and again the semicolon semicolon that's next to the letter L. Semicolon semicolon and this this lets me uh, write what I want for my own notes. This does not, the computer doesn't read this. It's just for people to read. So, and I like setting up where I have a user comment in, doc, in program documentation, whatever you want to call it. And then below that, I have my, my little block of code is what that is doing. So I'm going to say set world to match flag proportions. Portions. There we go. And if you misspell something here, it doesn't matter because, again, the computer doesn't read it. It's just for us to read. And what I'm going to end up doing is I want to reset my world to a specific size. I'm going to reset this black square because right now it's a square. And what I want to do is I want to set it up so it looks like the, the has the same proportions as the flag I'm going to make. And I'm going to use for this, I'm going to use this proportions right here, 3 to 5. So 3 to 5. So my, my height here is 3 and my length here is 5. Now this is kind of confusing because we've got to flip this around in our X, which usually we list first, our X axis is going horizontal, our Y axis is going vertically. But here they give us our this vertical side first and then our horizontal side. So we kind of got to flip these values around. So my x length here is going to be 50. I'm going to multiply everything by 10. So this would be 50. But again, I'm not going to go from 0 to 50. I'm going to go to 0 to 49. And again, I'm going to show you the reason why is if I start off and I went from zero to on this example, this is if I was going from this is 12 spaces. So if I actually went from zero to 12, I'd have one extra patch that I would be using here. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I don't want 13, I want 12 just like I'm going to go from 0 to 49 because if I went from 0 to 50 that would actually be 51 squares in there so I'm not going to go from 0 to 50 I'm going to go from 0 to 49 and then my 
my other one I'm going from 0 to 29 because I want it to be 30 I want this to be 50 patches this way and 30 patches this way so I gotta subtract that one number so it stays in proportion and this is kinda hard to get used to thinking about and doing but that's what I'm gonna set up my world to be doing so here's what I do. I'm gonna say resize dash world and again that's all one word all together no spaces resize world and you'll notice it's this purple color now here's where it gets a little confusing I want my X values first so again I'm gonna go for my X since it's the long one I'm gonna go from Z I'm gonna go to 0 to 49 so this 0 is my minimum value for X this is my maximum value for X then I'm going to do a space, and I'm going to do my minimum value for y, which is 0, and I'm going to do my maximum value for y, which is going to be 29. So this, this is my x value going from 0 to 49, which gives me 50 spaces. This is going from 0 to 29, which gives me 30 spaces. This is equal to a flag being 30 by 50 and I'm gonna go ahead and do user comments after this I'm gonna do dot uh, semicolon semicolon and I want to say uh, uh, mine is a 3 to 5 and that equals 30 to 50 so one of your grades I'm gonna check here on your code is if you have this in there and that's gonna be worth some points there and so all since I have this, I want to see how big this ends up being here. So I'm going to say recompile, and what that does is that integrates the code uh, that I just written into the web program here. I'm going to hit setup, and you can see it changed my square to a rectangle. But my rectangle is a little bit too big for my screen here. I'm going to go ahead and make mine a little bit smaller. Well. I'll, I'll show you how to. So the other thing I want to do is I want to re. I'm going to set my patch size. So that's set dash patch, p a t c h size, and you, it recognizes that code there. And I'm going to pick out. I'm going to say nine for mine. I'm going to recompile, and I'm going to hit setup again. And now I can see the whole thing there. So I end up resizing it well because I want to kind of use up as much space as possible. Now, if I wanted to get greedy with my space here, I could edit. I did the edit. I'm gonna drag this over here. You don't have to do this. I'm just gonna do it so I have a little bit more space. And since I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and make this one bigger. Let's see if I have enough room for it to be a little bit bigger. So I change that from a 9 to a 10. I'm going to recompile. That adds it back. <clears throat> and then it's bigger. And I kind of want to point out what we just did there with the resizing of the patch. Each one of these squares is a patch. So the only thing I did was I made the patches bigger there. So I went from let's say the squares being this way to trying to make them square. So you can see this ends up being a bigger flag because my squares are bigger. And that's all I've done with that. <clears throat> so I got my my flag set up to the dimensions I want. And again, this right here, these two lines of code I'm going to look at and uh, um, that's going to be worth 15 of your 50 points for this assignment. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the central color that I want. So I'm going to use the, the semicolons again and I'm going to write what I'm going to do. I'm going to say create center color just so I know what is going on there. And I'm, how I do that is I ask the patches. So this ask every single patch to do this. I'm going to do my starting square bracket which is next to the letter P. I'm going to hit enter twice in ending square bracket. And then my pretend flag that was just kind of created randomly, I had this yellow color. 
So I'm going to say set P color, that stands for patch color, yellow. And all the patches in here should go to the color yellow. I'm going to recompile that so it adds that those next lines of code here. I'm going to hit setup and everything is yellow. Now then, here comes the other here comes the tricky part which uh for some of you shouldn't be most of you shouldn't be too tricky. I'm going to say that this is three equally striped. So, and the reason that's one of the reasons I pick 30. So from 0 to 9 is going to be 10 spots. So, that's going to be 10 spots, 10 10 patches, then 10 to 19 is going to be 10 patches and then 20 to 29 will be 10 patches. So he, what I'm thinking now is basically if it's less than 10, if I say the value is less than 10, it's going to be everything that's that won't count 10 but it'll count 9 to 0. So everything from 9 to 0 is going to be this, uh, I'm going to make that red. So I'm going to go back to my program and I want to add that in here. So I'm going to do my user comment and again notice how I'm keeping everything in line and please pay attention that I had a bracket on each side of this and I'm going to do something very similar here but then I'm going to add another uh, qualifier here. So I'm going to say ask, well I got to do my user comments first. My and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say create bottom red stripe. And if you're making one, of, if you're making one of those has the the vertical stripes, you can you'll say making either your left stripe or your right stripe. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. So I'm going to say ask patches. And when I ask the patches to do something, I got to do my starting square bracket and my ending square bracket. Um, I'm going to go in between the brackets here. I'm going to say if my PY coordinate, my PY value, so that's the Y value on my, my X and Y scale, is less than, and that's the, ne the symbol next to the letter M. 9, sorry, 10. I'm going to do what's in between these two brackets. And that's going to be set P color red. Alright. And you notice I try I tidy things up, so ask patches. So I'm asking all the patches to do everything from this bracket to this bracket. And what I'm doing is I'm saying if you're Y coordinate is less than 10, then I want you to turn yourself red. So I'm going to go ahead and hit recompile to add that in the code. But I just want to come up here and talk about that for a second before I hit setup. So if I pick this patch again, this is 0, 0 down here. This is going to be uh, 49,29. So up here. So if I looked at this patch right here, this might be. 25 comma 25 so if I looked at that and so that patch would ask itself okay am, is my y value less than ten and the answer is no so it would stay the same color if I ask this one down here its its y value is going to be zero, so that would be true. So all these patches in this row are going to color themselves red. The next one, the next one, and the next one. So when I hit setup, you can see that's exactly what happened. So this is where we're using that less than sign right here. So that's what happened right here. All the patches asked themselves this question: If my y value is less than ten, if this is true, then I do this: set my color to red and you can see that's exactly what they did. So I'm going to do something very similar but we're going to look at greater than now. So if it's greater than this value uh, whatever this number is we're going to talk about in a second 
then we're going to turn it a different color and again my little pretend flag we're going to make those green so similar to what we just got through doing so pay attention to where we are again the end is at the end of our program um, and we're going to basically do what we did up here but we're gonna just change a couple little values we're gonna say create top green stripe and again on your flag you're gonna have to figure out yourself how to do this so I'm gonna say ask patches like we've done before I'm gonna do start a square bracket do an ending square bracket and I'm gonna say if and I want to start my parentheses my PY core is greater than and the greater than sign is this way and what I want to do is if it's greater than 19 because that way it will count from it'll count 20 because 20 will be greater because 19 is not greater so it doesn't count 19 and that's a common mistake people will make if they did 20 it wouldn't count 20 it would be from it would count 21 22 23 24 so it would be one short and how many we need so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 19 I'm gonna end my parentheses hit enter I got my starting square bracket my ending square bracket and I'm gonna say set patch color P color green and I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate that compile that in there now I want to hit setup now I have my green stripe and you can see that they're e all equal this is 10 patches wide 10 patches wide 10 patches wide so the next thing I'm gonna do because some of you have this to add most of you will be done with that you'll either have three vertical stripes or three horizontal stripes that's most of you uh, and <clears throat> what I'm gonna grade you on is you get points for sending in your code so you email me your whole code then 15 of the points comes from here then you have the color which if you just did a basic color yellow red or green it's worth two points each the value here getting these right is worth 10 points each so I'll look at this to see if you got this right and this right so those are worth 10 points each but here is the additional thing I want to talk about with this color. You guys are media art students. You should be paying attention and learning about colors. So instead of just calling this yellow, there's a specific color that your flag will have. So this right here is the RGB value, and here is well, t well, th and that's what we're going to end up using. So to get this specific color yellow, or you can see this specific color yellow. Um, the RBG values are these numbers and it's the red green blue that they end up being mixed with and uh, these are this is an additive color model which we'll talk about later this is when you're using light to create color so RGB so basically I want and this scale goes up to 255 so you can see I'm using a lot of red well, quite a bit of green and just a touch of blue to get this color red. So here's what you end up doing for your particular flag. Let's say my flag was supposed to be this color yellow. I would look here and I'd find the RGB. I'm going to copy that so I remember what it is. And instead of doing this yellow, I'm going to paste those values in here but they have to have a space between them so I'm going to get rid of the dashes there so I'm going to recompile that and on this also you have to have these in brackets I just now remembered that gotta have these in brackets so that distinguishes it that it's instead of using just a one number color it's using the RGB values alright so look at this color yellow that I have right now when I hit setup you're gonna see that it turns a little darker shade and let's see here's a green color let's see 
those are and on this one they put slashes in between them so I'm going to make my color green there so here is where I have my green stripe so again what I want to do is paste that in there I'm going to add the starting square bracket put a space there space there any square bracket so that's my color green I'm going to recompile that and set up and you see it turned a little darker green so this is how to get your colors on your computer to match the colors that are supposed to be um, now for mine I'm gonna go ahead and add a a little box going this way and I'm gonna put a star in there so on this I'm gonna I'm gonna say that on my flag that I made my little imaginary flag for my country this right here this whole area right here is black um, and I'm gonna say that that is about 20 so 0 to tw I'm going to say it's two-thirds of the way of a crosshair so 0 to from 1 to 20 would be the what I'm looking for so I need to go 0 to 19 so I'm going to go back to my code down here where my code is as soon as my computer unfreezes alright so I'm gonna add that code in there and what I want to do is I'm gonna say um, user comment so I know what I'm doing semicolon semicolon and I'm gonna say create black rectangle and so I'm gonna say ask patches I'm gonna ask all the patches to do this and they're gonna ask them a question I'm gonna say okay if you're X value because again now we're going to use the X scale to make use the X scale that goes horizontal to figure out where to make the vertical lines so I'm going to say if your PX core if the X coordinate is less than 19 in my parentheses there then I'm going to do what's in between these two square brackets which is I'm going to say set P color black alright so I'm gonna see if that works I hit compile and I got my black triangle there now the last thing I need to do in my design here is I need to go ahead and put a star in here now net logo has well, they call them turtles our agents um, and they're they um, and I'm gonna make one and the people who I've assigned flags to the you'll they that have a star uh, anything in them besides stripes they'll have a star in them so all of them have the star so you'll use something similar to like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add to my code down here a, I'm gonna create a the star part so I'm going to and this will be a couple steps because we'll see by default it starts off in a different place but I'm going to say um, make a white star and put it in position so to make the star I'm gonna make it into it instead of making a patch trying to figure out how to do that with patches which is difficult to do with square patches um, I'm gonna make a turtle and I'm gonna make the turtle have a square shape to it and the turtle is just an agent that moves around on there so I'm gonna say create create dash turtles all one word T-U-R-T-L-E-S and even though I'm only going to make one turtle I still have to use the plural there one turtle and then um, well I'll just leave it that way for now and I'll show you what we got to do next here I'm going to recompile code and I'm going to hit setup and it made this list down here is my turtle by default they start off at 0 0 and by default they start off this is a size this is a size one it's about the size of one of the patches 
and you can see it's green and it's a little triangle shape and I don't want that what I want it to do is I want it to be some different things so to, in order to to modify this turtle I have to put these starting brackets and ending brackets and what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm gonna go ahead and add this in here I'm gonna say ask turtles t-u-r-t-l-e-s and everything I'm asking the turtles to do I'm gonna put in between these two brackets so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say set shape and then in parentheses not parentheses quotation marks I'm putting the word star because it has a library of different shapes and it knows what a star looks like so I added that I'm gonna go ahead here recompile oops 44 oh, I forgot to say ask turtles with an s ask turtles even though there's only one turtle I'm missing with I still have to add all of them so I'm gonna say ask turtles so you can see it's a star getting closer there and look each time I click on it it ends up being a different color it randomizes the color there's kind of a reddish color a pink color a gray color so what I want to do is I want that to be a white star so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna say set color white go back up here recompile hit setup and now you see every time I hit setup it is a white star but it needs to be bigger and also we need it in a better place so I'm gonna put it in place first um, and looking at this this is I'm gonna I want it to be in the center of this so if this went from 0 to 19 the center of this going this way would be 9 and then going up this way would be about 15 14 9 and 14 9 and 14 9 and 14 so I'm gonna say set my XY to 9 and 14 and unfortunately NetLogo doesn't have you do it the way you're used to doing it which is parentheses around it and a, and a comma that shows you that it's an ordered pair it just has you do it this way so we'll see if we got where we need to be there and that looks about in the center and now I want to make it bigger so I'm going to say set size and I'm just going to try 10 might need to make it bigger than that probably do but we'll see eh, maybe a little bit bigger yeah so there I made my flag and so what you're gonna get graded on is you're gonna turn in your code you're gonna email me your code with a picture of your completed flag and what I'm gonna look at is these things right here this right here you get a grade for your colors you get a grade for your X or Y however you had to make it if you're making a horizontal or vertical flag so I'm gonna check this and this value and um, then you get uh, part of your points for just turning in your image too so that's gonna be the the assignment there and again if you have questions you need some help I have office hours Monday through Friday from 1 30 to 3 um, and I can help you get your flag completed